What is up my people with Jaxby the Ripper here. So there's actually been a lot of good news out there lately. I won't be surprised if I have a few more videos doing on Ripper news because it's been like new information out there. Uh, so anyways, let's go ahead and get right to it. Let's start with Metal Ocalypse. I always feel like I'm saying the name wrong. I probably am because it's a mouthful for me. I just can't say it. They're coming out with a one hour movie finale, I guess you could say. Um, if you guys don't remember, because I really don't remember, the series wrapped in 2013 and without any kind of like series finale or anything. If none of you guys remember, it, the series started with like a 15 minute cartoon on Adult Swim on Cartoon Network and then it moved up to like 30 minutes. Um, so if you guys don't remember, they never had like a series finale and there was issues with Adult Swim and supposedly Brendan Smalls who like was the creator of this series, I guess they didn't give him any credit or the money wasn't going to him. So if you bought like the DVD sets or anything like that, I guess he wasn't getting any of the portion like he was supposed to. I don't know. There was a lot of issues going on. However, in spring of 2021, he did announce that he is coming back with like a one hour series finale. Um, finally, we're going to get um, closure <laughs> that we've all been looking for. Um, we're all going to get closure finally. There's going to be new music as well and it should be released in 2023. Unfortunately, there were a couple deaths that just recently happened. One of them is ex-guitarist of Cradle of Filth, Stuart and Stis. I can't say the last name. I'm so, I am so sorry. Um, he died at age 45. His wife did make like a heartfelt um, um, post about him on Facebook and, the, and, and other social media platforms as well. There hasn't until I ch checked recently, there still hasn't been like reasons why he died so young. So I'll try, if I find out any information, I'll leave it like in the description bar down below and let you guys know. And then on August 15th, Steve Grimmett passed away. Steve Grimmett was one of the lead singers to um, Grim Reaper. Uh, from what it seems like, they, um, the Metal Voice, if you guys don't follow that channel, they did have his um, wife on there, um, Millie. Uh, she did say he did battle with diabetes and he got like his left leg, I believe, part partially amputated and um, they, they're not saying it was the diabetes that killed him, it's just, it's just he took a nap and he didn't wake up and it could have been because of heart issues because unfortunately when you're diabetes, Lots of things can lead to other issues, and he did have some heart issues, so they think that's what it was. There is like a GoFundMe, I think, for his um, funeral, because they weren't, you know, Metallica money. Let's just say that they didn't have Metallica money. Uh, so, and I believe it's still going on. If I find the link, I will leave it down below. That way, you can send any donations at all. Um, you know, they're they're just a very humble family. You know, um, Steve's family was just a very humble family. I will also leave the full video down below of the live stream where they're talking to his wife, Millie. Okay, so there was like this strange article that popped up. Apparently this popped up a couple years ago, but for some reason it was like circulating all over Instagram again. I kept seeing it. I don't know if somebody sent it to me, but I know for sure I saw it on Instagram like a couple weeks ago. So Kirk Hammond was talking about like how he received a gift from the Night Stalker. So when they were filming St. Anger in the prison San Quentin, um, basically, if you guys don't know who the Night nice Stalker is, it's Richard Ramirez. If you guys don't know who Richard Ramirez is, he was a popular serial killer around the California area, mostly in SoCal. And I believe he did go into, I want to say he was in Texas too, and then as well as like parts of Arizona, I want to say. Um, if I remember correctly from the documentaries, it's been a while um, since I been up to date with it so but anyways the way they caught him is like they found him in East LA and some gangbangers found him or whatever they jumped his ass and that's how they caught him so that's how they found Richard Ramirez but anyways he was you know the nice stalker at nighttime he went to go kill he snuck into old ladies homes or something like that it was it was a certain age demographic he did attack so anyways, what it seemed that um, happened was Kirk Hammond said that he received a gift from one of the correctional officers and it was, you know, him uh, and the rest of the band members of Metallica on the cover of, of a magazine. It's like an old school magazine. And he's like, oh, that's cool. And then he saw who the subscription to, the subscription to said to the Night Stalker. And that's when they're like, oh yeah, he's in here, huh? So I thought that was an interesting article, but yeah. Yeah, if I can find the link again, I'll leave it down below for you guys to read it. Can you just imagine getting a gift from like a serial killer saying, Hey, I'm a big fan of yours. Like, 
only to be famous, you know? <laughs> so Amazon does not have a good team to do research on, probably. It clearly shows with this Steel Panther and Motley Crue. <laughs> I don't even know what to call it. Um, okay, so I didn't know Motley Crue had a documentary in 2020, and I guess it was only on Amazon. It wasn't, you know, the Jerk movie. No, that's Netflix. Um, this was, like, on Amazon, like... Um, their documentary, which so I didn't know there was like two different ones. From what it seemed when I was reading, it seemed like there was two different ones. So, for the ad, they, they didn't put a picture of Motley Crue. They put a picture of Steel Panther. And it was like some kind of promo shot they were doing. But they displayed the official logo of Motley Crue on top of them. If I could find the video of the girl who found it, I will leave the link down below. So yeah, I just I just thought that was a good one to put out there for you guys. Um, and also, last but not least, you know, speaking of Motley Crue, on August 11th, yeah, I have to put the date down, um, Tommy Lee posted up a dick pic on Instagram. Now, when I found this out, I was at work. And one of my co-workers, like, she knew, like, I'm, she knows I'm a metal fan, right? She was like, did you find out about Tommy Lee's dick being on Instagram? And I'm like, wait, we're not talking about the porno, right? Like, the household film that him and Pam made? He's, she's like, no, there was an actual, like, dick pic, full on, that he posted up on his Instagram. It's supposedly Facebook, too. And I was like, shut up. So she shows it to me, and yep, underneath it, he put the caption, oops. So he did it purposely, and then he took it down, or maybe Instagram took it down, I don't know. But yeah, I have the actual picture, and some people are on Instagram did ask me to send it to them. And all you guys are probably like, why when there's like, you know, the actual, like, you know, household film that they made. I think it was just the fact that, you know, it's Instagram, that's why, and we need to see it to believe it. Um, but yeah, I thought it was funny how one of my, um, followers on Instagram, she was like, I never thought I'll be, like, happy to see a 60-year-old dick. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, I don't think that's why you're happy about, girl. I think it's just you're, you're happy to see the evidence that this really happened. <laughs> also, I did want to touch lightly. Um, I mean, this is still metal, metal news anyway, so I should really talk about this. Um, Black Metal Rebellion, I want to leave his video down below. He made a really good video about like the YouTube analytics and how we don't know what's going on, how a lot of the metal YouTubers are not getting the views they deserve. Now, here's the thing. I've been used to this. My views were never up there. Mind you, I am a smaller YouTuber, but it's, you know, my platform has always been slow to grow. So I'm kind of used to it, but I have noticed it's gotten worse. And yes, maybe because I haven't been uploading as much because now I'm trying to balance work and doing this and you know I'm not going to give up or I'm not you know I'm just letting you guys know but you know I'm just trying to find a balance here but however other YouTubers out there who are posting all the time their views have gone very down as well as comments the comments are getting deleted left and right and some of it is not even bad stuff it's like it just it won't show I think YouTube is just in my opinion I think YouTube is purposely doing that because they don't want to pay anybody else knowing that in a contract they have that they you know they could pay you if you make certain amount of views or whatever a certain amount of hours or whatever uh, I think they're just trying to do that purposely which is I always tell people don't rely on this platform for money you know what I mean um, but it still means a lot to us I think what it means like I'm not gonna lie there are times I don't feel like filming or uploading anything just because I see like the views are not there you know, it's like, but I love doing it, but at the same time, I was like, well, nobody's fucking watching, you know what I mean? So, it does mean a lot if you guys at least, like, fucking give us a few minutes, or, or I don't know, maybe it's just not being pushed out to you guys. I don't know. Um, I do know TikTok is kicking everybody's ass, but that's not a good place you want to make money on, because they take 70% of everything. At least with YouTube, they only take 40%, you know, so it's like... And plus you get banned for every little reason your account take it down on TikTok. More than here. I feel like it's stricter and more unfair on there than it is here. So anyways, anyways, she goes on to talk about more and more, um, you know, about it. And then I think you guys should give Jesse Morgan's um, video a watch and just, you know, she does a better job at explaining it than I can. But I think with me, she's like, I'm used to it, whatever, <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyways, I just decided to like, throw that in there and anyways thanks you guys for watching and y'all take care of your vaginas and have a wonderful day